Quick update on the 680, I've printed replacements, VTX and GPS mounts, and also a set of landing struts or legs that clamp around the arms to replace the broken carbon fiber landing gear that folded out from the base of the body. Uh, just need to stick the Pixwalk back on, wire it up, and take it out for a second test flight, maybe next weekend, I don't know. Um, but this time with the, the pitch axis, the correct way around. In the meantime, I was interested to see the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to DIY GPS semi-autonomous quads, and I decided to build the cheapest iNav quad I possibly could. So this is a combination of obsolete spare parts that I had uh, knocking around, and the cheapest new parts that Banggood had to offer. So it's a, a Q450 you know, flame wheel clone with arms made of, of cheese, I swear, they got so much flex in them. Um, the motors are Racer Star 2312s, 960 kV. They were £23 for the set of four, which is insane, but they actually feel quite nice. Like the, the manufacturer actually feels quite nice and they, f they flew fine today, so I can't complain. The ESCs on the bottom of the arms are a ancient set of 20 amp afros. They are running Simon K, they are PWM only, there's no one shot or anything like that. And they're so old they actually have linear 5 volt regulators, not even switch mode regulators. But again, they, they work, so... Flight controller is a Matek F405 STD, good job on the naming scheme there, Matek. Um, what else we got? Camera, uh, VTX. VTX I had spare, it's an FX. Camera is another one of these. Foxier Micro Pro V2 Extra Plus Plus, whatever they call them now, they're all the same. Uh, X8R, taking up all the space at the back because that's the only FR Sky receiver I had spare. And it's got one of these little um, HGRC branded U Blocks 8Ms on it. Incidentally, these don't have compasses in them, which I discovered late. So I stuck a little HMC 5883L breakout board from SparkFun on there, which I had from a Arduino project ages ago. So in total, I think I spent about £91 or something on new parts, and the rest was just obsolete stuff that I had in my spares boxes and wasn't using. Um, but yeah, it, it flies okay. It was far too windy today to, to really fly a big, flexible quad like this, but... In terms of f functionality, everything worked. Um, altitude hold, position hold, return to home, all worked quite nicely. And it was a, a nice uh, a nice way to experience iNav for the first time before trying it in a wing, because I have far less experience flying wings than I do with flying multi-rotors, so. <laughs> it's not handling well in the wind, obviously, but so this is 3D holes with position and altitude. Considering the winds, it's not doing badly, right? I think it needs a bigger dead zone or the assumption of throttle mid is just wrong for three cell. But I mean, it's not doing bad considering the arms are made of cheese. Definitely needs work from just bashing in presets, but it seems to work. The motors aren't at all hot. So, four cell seems fine at least for cruising and hovering. 